The three lions of England and La Roya of Spain, uh, these are the finalists for this year's Euros. And of course, uh, this is our preview of the game set for the Olympia Stadium in Berlin on Sunday. My name is Ayomide Shotu and this is The Nutmeg on Guardian TV. Indeed, it's been a great pleasure previewing all the games and most of the games, in fact, with the organ. He makes it here again for the much. final and, of course, uh, it's exciting, the three Lions of England, another a taste of glory could await, uh, is awaiting them on Sundays. Yeah. It remains to be seen if they could uh, do it, but there might not be a tougher opponent right now than Spain. But before we get into that, I want to really uh, get your opinion on this. What have you made again of the tournament? I know I've asked this before, but you know, we've seen 50 games out of 51. So how have you seen the tournament so far? Yeah, um, the tournament has been beautiful. Um, Though we, this is not what we actually expected from the start of the game, of the competition, but as the game continues to go, we've, we've had um, um, a beautiful watch of each game and, um, you know, it's been fun all the way, actually. Yeah, it is. And of course, that fun has led us to Berlin, the Olympia Stadium, yeah. where the three Lions of England under Gary Southgate will be looking to at least win. It be a lot of records uh, if they could uh, win that one. We're talking about whether they could win for the first time on foreign soil. It's the first time they're in a the final on foreign soil. And uh, they'll be looking for their first silverware since the 60s as well. When they won the World Cup, they've never won oh, any man. piece of silverware since then. So, but <laughs> it doesn't get tougher than Spain really because they are also, La Roya under Luis de la Fuente are also aiming for, uh, you know, a fourth uh, continental title and that would be a record for them as well this is a final for the ages yes yes it's a final for the ages because um, the the two teams are something to you know to hold on to it um, there's a goal for every every team um, and there are records to be set and records to be broken yeah um, so it's it's the perfect final so let's look at uh, the either side of the divide now uh, talking about the final for Gareth Southgate's England, uh, it, it looks more interesting. These guys have been knocking on the door. I've, I've not made predictions since like the quarterfinal. I think today is my time to do that. I think England will win, and for good reason. Um, maybe that's not what everybody wanted. Maybe that's not what everybody expected. It's always been coming home, quote and unquote, but it has never been home. You know, it's coming, but it's never been home. I think this is the year it will be home for them. Why? Because you look back to when uh, Southgate led them to the first final. And that, that was in the last edition of the Euros. They were, they were this close. You look at uh, World Cup tournaments that he's taken them to as well in 2018 and in 2020, uh, is it 2022 now? Yeah, yes. Yeah. They were always close. The semi-finals, the finals. And for me, something in football is all about the consistency. If you keep building and you're knocking on the door like that, and you get to the final again, I would expect you to win. I won't be surprised. It's just that, for me, it looks like Spain are the tough opponent the toughest that they could have met at this point? Well, um, we know, like you said, um, Spain is the favourite, as it were, yeah. because of their style of play and uh, the journey from the beginning, their first match. Um, I mean, they've not even lost the game. They've not lost they've the not game. They've not drawn either. They've not drawn. So, um, they've, they've won all their games and um, that is why they are here. That's why they are in the final. On the other hand, um, England, at They've been struggling. But I remember telling you at the beginning of the competition that um, for every game you play, um, you begin to tune some things and fine tune some things. Yeah. So um, I told us that from the beginning, Southgate started with um, a midfield of um, um, three midfielders who we had them um, Arnold in it. And um, from there he moved to Galaga. Moved to Galaga, then from Galaga then he moved to Ma 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 has been And a I believe that um, Iena, <laughs> Iena knows that this guy is very, very important Absolutely. in the midfield. However, um, I believe that they have all it takes, the two teams have all it takes to be able to um, lift the trophy. But um, at the end of the day, what, what, what um, governs the, the, the play is um, how hungry they are, each team. How yeah. hungry are they to actually, uh, you know, achieve this um the trophy. objective yeah uh, however we we still have to look at the the play of um, the two teams the coach and um what exactly do you want to um you know put into this game mm. but 
the two teams are perfect. You know, you also look at the recent meeting between them. Entertaining match in 2018, 3-2, England were winners in that one. But also, since 1996, they've met six times. Spain have won more, actually, three times. And then England won once, and uh, there were two draws in between. But what's the potential of an extra time? I don't know. Do you think this enters into extra time or finishes in a 90 minutes? Um, it is a tough game and we do not know where the game is going to you know, lead to. Whether um, it's going to be a penalty shootout or an extra time, ends in extra time or even end in 90 minutes. We don't know. We are not sure until we start the game. It's, it's the final. And yeah. the final cannot be really predicted. We have seen finals that ended up in penalty shootout. We've seen finals that ended up in, you know, the... In the in a, we've seen in 90 minutes. 90 minutes. We've seen and extra we've seen time. Extra time we've too. seen penalties. So, we don't know. But I, I believe that um, if you watch the, the two teams, Spain had always wanted, for all their games, they've always wanted it to end in 90 minutes. I don't know why, but somehow, somehow, I feel like um, they, they do not have what it takes to go to... So uh, what you're telling me is, if it drags yeah. on to the extra time, you'd you'd rate England because I I really do want to lean towards that as well. If if Spain can't get the business done in 90 minutes, England have been at their peak when they have to come back into games, when they have to take their time to find the winner, to find that uh, uh, important goal. So if you if you watch their last game, if you watch Spain's last game, they they qualified after. Um, um, during the night, uh, the extra time, yeah, it, you discover that uh, some of the players were already weak mm. because they got into the um, extra time. That was the first time they were entering into an extra time in the competition. But yeah. you see, England has been through it severally. They've played penalty shootout to qualify, and um, I believe that Spain will want to end the game within 90 minutes, while England, if they end it within 90 minutes, fair for them. If they go into extra time beautiful and if they go into penalty shootout fantastic i sense that you're hiding since your predictions have not been accurate in the recent episodes tell me who are you thinking that would well win? <laughs> i don't know why my, you're hiding, my, really. my predictions as uh, um, concerning england has been right you know i've always said uh, so are you predicting them to win this one yes i said it in the last episode <laughs> they have everything it takes to win the euros and i'm going for them at this time i said it if they get into the final it is coming Oh, I mean, they've been consistent, like you said. Yeah, absolutely. They've, they've actually, in all competition, the last time they were here, um, it was with a slim margin that um, Italy. Um, Italy won them. And that was them um, doing penalty shootouts. Shootouts, which is anybody's you know, game, to anybody be fair. Game, so. All right, there you have it, our predictions for the game. He thinks that England will, and so do I. It is interesting to know uh, what will happen in Berlin on Sunday. You can tell us what you feel will happen in the comment section. Who oh, will win at the Euros? Uh, Euro 2024. Is it going to be the three lands of England or the La Roya of Spain? And of course, uh, you can tell us uh, all across our social media handles as well. Well, thank you very much for watching. You can be part of the community here on uh, Guardian Nigeria right here on YouTube. But you can, uh, of course, uh, just subscribe to the channel and also tap the notification bells to get all our latest content. And uh, again, I must really appreciate your expertise, thank your you insight much. all through the tournament. It's been an interesting one, hasn't it been? Yes, uh, it's been an interesting one and uh, we look forward to another one. Uh, well, I can't wait for club football. Club football is, is beckoning again. Actually, yeah. The action never stops. And of course, we're always here to deliver and, on the nutmeg. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.